there are many books that try and state that they are uh, general books on a specific subject, such as uh, the art of Tibet. But it's actually very rare that, that you will find this. There's very few. Uh, one book that I think is particularly good that is called The Art of Tibet by Robert E. Fisher, and I believe it's Thames and Hudson is the publisher, uh, 1997. And this book uh, gives an extremely good overview of all of the different types of art that you find within the Tibet and the sphere of, of Tibetan culture. Now, it it is divided up into chapters that make sense, and it is also uh, dealing with kind of everything. It's dealing with sculpture, it's dealing with uh, with scroll work paintings, and it's dealing with murals, uh, maybe, maybe a smattering of uh, ritual objects. Uh, now, what's also wonderful about this publication is it has approximately 160, 170 plates. Now, not all of them are in color. Only, only a small number of plates are in color. But the quality of the art that is being depicted is excellent. And it is not drawing from just one collection. It's drawing from a huge huge repository of museums and uh, site location murals and uh, private collectors. So it has a tremendous amount of art that is being uh, uh, shown along with uh, the, the discussion of the, of the subjects and topics, uh, but it has a tremendous amount of good, high quality art. So this publication, Art of Tibet, Robert E. Fisher, what was it, 1997, uh, this is an excellent introduction uh, and overview of Tibetan art. It, it can often be found in used bookstores. It could very well be out of print, but it is, it is, you can find this book with some relative ease. So press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.